the game more clearly with extra view lenses from Norval Opticians with £50 off our exclusive free form frame. Billy Burns, fantastic occasion, fantastic performance and, and you've got all Gloucester's points. Yeah, uh, no, it, was a, it was a massive night for, for us as a club. Um, we knew that the challenge that was in front of us down here. Um, we came with a plan and, and we executed that plan and it's a, it's a great change room to be in. The boys have worked so hard, not just the, the 23 here, but the boys back home as well. It's been a great training week and, and credit to the coaches for coming up with a game plan as well. Huge amount of intensity throughout the game, but defensively you had to be very sharp as well. Yeah, definitely. We, we've got nothing but massive respect for La Rochelle, obviously. They're, they're flying in, in the league um, and we knew it was going to be a massive challenge, but we went to some dark places in that game and the boys just dug in deep and there was a, probably a 20 minute block where, where we didn't let them over and, uh, and, and at the end of the day that, that won us the game. What was the message at half time? You had Tom Savage in the bin, you were on the back foot for the last few minutes of the first half. Yeah, we were doing a lot of good things. Uh, Trini unlucky to go over in the corner, it was a try saving tackle obviously. Um, but we knew that they were a big physical side and, and the longer we could keep it tight, we, we, we knew we'd be fitting them in the end and, and I think we, we just about snuck that fitness battle in the end. Um, probably a bit closer than what we would have liked, but listen, to come away with any result here is massive and obviously we, uh, we look forward to getting in the final now. And you rode the storm the opening 10, 15 minutes the second half, so often Gloucester's Achilles heel. Yep, yeah, we've still got to work on that. Uh, it doesn't help when, when you fly half shanks one out and out on the full. Um, but like I said, that was it. We knew we were going to go to dark places in that game and, and we were going to be under pressure. Obviously, their crowd got behind, uh, got behind them. Um, but I must say, our, our travelling support was outstanding tonight. It was, it was, uh, you could hear them all throughout the game and, and it was great to have them here and we're glad we can re repay them with, with a good win. Huge amount of noise inevitably when you were taking those kicks. How, how do you cope with that? Uh, weirdly, I actually thought I find it a little bit easier than all the, the, the quiet. It, um, it focused me a little bit more, but it's one of those. You know, coming to France, it's going to be a, a pretty hostile environment, especially in a game with, with so much riding on it. Um, and yeah, lucky enough that those kicks went over. And your your try, talk us through that. Was it 90 meters? Uh, yeah, I think so. <laughs> I don't remember too much. All I remember was was catching the ball and looking for Johnny May, but he was nowhere to be seen at the time. So I put my head down, and lucky enough, I managed to just get to the line before they caught me. Um, but yeah, it was it was a great feeling. But like I said, we defended for probably eight, nine, ten phases before that, and to get away with a try at the end was, was great. And you must be pleased because so often this season you've lost games at the tail end at the last couple of minutes, and this time you've gone over the line. Yeah, like you said, that's that's probably been our Achilles' heel this year. Um, and uh, as, as players, it's something that, that we've worked on. But until you actually do it on the park, it it's, it, it doesn't change. So we're uh, we're we're massively uh, well, we're over the moon that, that we managed to get away with it at the end. And, and like I said, I think overall the game we probably deserved the wins, which was good.